Tonight, bridge problems. It's a project that's been ongoing for years, and now we've learned that construction of the new Pawtucket River Bridge is being delayed after misaligned beams were discovered. Iowa News reporter Catherine Sochnick is live from the scene in Pawtucket with more on what she's learned. Well, Mike, I can tell you here tonight that this project is already several months behind schedule, and now we have another bump in the road here for the Pawtucket River Bridge project. I did sit down with the Department of Transportation a short time ago, and they tell me at this point they don't see this as too big of an issue. The Pawtucket River Bridge will now be dismantled because we've learned some of the bridge's vertical beams are misaligned. But the Department of Transportation tells us they're not overly worried. This is not a big disruption to the project. The DOT says the two contractors rebuilding the bridge, SNR and Peel, were placing the steel beams from the outside in. And when they got to the inside beams, they were misaligned. The contractor is already working on the retrofit. They're having the pieces fabricated they need to help realign what they need to get realigned. Who pays for it now? Right now, based on all the information we know, it is not going to be the taxpayers of Rhode Island or the state. Right now, it appears the contractor has taken responsibility for the work that's going to be taking place to make this uh, modification. And it isn't the first DOT project to have problems. Recently, a new highway ramp leading to Rhode Island Hospital was found to have substandard concrete. But the DOT says in the recent case, it was their checks and balances system that worked. And a project of this magnitude, they say, will have some problems. We act as the manager of the project. The contractor is hired to build the project. He's responsible for the work that's taking place that is what a lot of people see. Okay, so here is what's next. The work on fixing the steel beams, we're told, should be done sometime by next week. The overall work should now be completed by September of 2012. The project now is about four months behind schedule. Reporting live tonight with the Blackstone Valley Mobile Newsroom from Pawtucket, I'm Catherine Sotnik, Eyewitness News.